I thought that economy cards here in version 42 were going to be pretty darn good. Now, our recent look in a couple of them have turned out to be not so uh, optimistic. Now, here is what here is a, a gem here, wealthy, that may may just be worth it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Paragon Guide. I am Silphen with a math, math behind the scenes look at wealthy, a tier two agility gem. So here we go, guys. Let's get right into it. Tier two agility gem. And what it does is it gives you 5% increased gold from everything. Literally everything you get just 5% increased gold. Now, hey, 5%. That just, hey, if you're a carry or whatever, you just want more gold. Hey, man, that's uh, might be that might be it for you. So, here in this look to here, we are looking at Master Carries Gold Farm. So, this is how much I looked at uh, three or four matches of both of both carries on, on, on either teams. And there's not like crazy, you know, like where the games went completely one sided. This was. Fair games where these high master players, high high diamond master level players, and what they could farm. So, really, it's not. I I, I highly doubt anybody uh, like myself could farm this as well as these players can. So here we have game time over here and gold farm on the middle here, and this is the bonus gold that you get from wealthy. Now because it is a tier two agility gem. I had to kind of look at when exactly could these players get it, when's the earliest time you could, and within reason, always spending that first 1,000 gold, of course, on something useful, and that's about the eight minute mark. So we got there, you get a few, you get a bit of bonus gold from uh, from a little bit of farm in there, and then it just kind of goes up. And as you can see, as you get down by by the 10 minute mark, 9,000 gold. Although, you know, a lot of that you farm before that, you get a 100 bonus gold, a 16 minute mark, 475 bonus gold, 20, 725, etc, etc. Now, most of these matches were ending at the 24 to 26 minute mark. They just were. I had a really tough time finding a match beyond 30 to 20, 32 34 minutes. I think I got one 34 minute game. So games are ending quick. And as you can see by the 24, 26 minute mark, one attribute point. 1,025 in 26 minutes, uh, 1,175 gold. So you get one bonus attribute point um, as a carry. You can farm the most, you should be farming the most. And really, one attribute point by the time the game's already probably likely going to end. Or, well, you know, it's going to end soon anyways. Even on a carry, I don't think a thousand gold is really going to do much. One attribute point? Unfortunately, I don't think it will be. But we're trying to save my judgments for, for later. Now, most games, maybe in the lower elos, go somewhere down here. And as you can see... Finally, at the 36 minute mark, if you can farm like a master player, you can get 2,000 gold. Finally, two attribute points from Wealthy. Ah, we're just going to say that 2,000 gold here at the 36 minute mark, if you can farm like a master player. Now, before I move on to the conclusion, because really that's all there is, I'm not even going to show you. If you're thinking of Wealthy on Profiteer, Remember the Profiteer barely gets you one, maybe two uh, attribute points and 5% of that. We're talking about 50, 100 more gold than you would have otherwise gotten. 50, 100 gold is not going to... It, do, it literally means nothing. Wealthy on improved killing blows is even worse. As we could see, you could barely get one uh, attribute point maybe two if it goes really long and again we're still only talking five percent increase of that is 50 to 100 maybe you get 200 from from each that's 400 gold that still is basically like it does nothing 
uh, especially in the later parts of the matches, it does nothing. So if you're wondering about how wealthy uh, affects those two and Coin Master that is coming up, I will do a I will do a summary video of how all of the economy cards might work together if you're bold enough to do something like that. It's looking like it's honestly, literally negligible. With that said, guys, some conclusions, some factual statements uh, that we can make about uh, about wealthy. An average game ends 24 to 26 minutes. I've even noticed that um, uh, right around the gold plat area and, and 27,000 to 500 to 30,500 gold point total average farmed and about a thousand to uh, 1,000 to about 1,100 bonus gold received through wealthy basically you're gonna get one attribute point by the end of, it, of your average match that's about it that's about it if you can farm like a master player so and that's probably the huge if here and a long game, guys, a long game of 36 minutes would have 47,500 gold farmed and just barely two attribute points worth of extra gold. So it's looking like it's not very good um, if you ask me for wealthy. So some statements, guys, I am going to make personally some just my opinions really on this card. Really? One attribute point or a thousand gold requires 27,000 gold to be farmed, which is barely enough for your average match. Uh, it's barely enough. Barely, barely, barely enough. And you, and you actually have to remember that, um, that that's after tier seven, tier seven, right? That's after tier 7. So you have to add on 7,000 gold after that to have like your total, right? Remember? So you're, I mean, it's just your average match is not going to see that. And even if it does, you're only talking about one attribute point. And given that the benefit from wealthy is truly marginal, I'm not even going to go into the fact that you could get other gems for it. I mean, sure, I will. Quick exit's going to be, it's just, just way, but way better for this. Uh, the auto shield is going to be way better for it. Literally any other gem. Fast travel, I would pick over this card, to, uh, over this gem, to be honest with you. I would. Um, no lie. Given that the benefit from wealthy is truly marginal, I just, I cannot recommend this gem over others. Um, one attribute point's not going to do anything. By the 24, 26 minute mark. You're like even if you consider the fact that you're one one attribute point ahead of the enemy and that you snowball, you're not going to snowball off of one CP off off of one attribute point. <laughs> you know, like you're just not. So guys, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. The these economy cards, these economy gems, are looking sad. It's this looking like they need buffs to be honest with you let me know down in the comments um try to uh, th there's been comments on, on on the other videos of um you know i just please remember what i've what what i have said this whole time there's a lot of things that i have taken into consideration and have counted for so just make sure um make sure that you maybe watch the video again and just kind of under understand everything so that um you know you can just save your time from uh, from from you know asking question that maybe i've already answered so there you guys go let me know down in the comments guys what do you guys think of uh, wealthy like this video if you like it dislike it if you dislike it share it the community and of course guys subscribe you guys like this content especially if you found it useful please subscribe so i can do it for you in the future if you'd like to support me on a regular basis please head on over to my patreon account where you can make a pledge to help me do what i love till next time like always guys stay optimistic and positive